Hey everyone, welcome to NixGuard. It's been a while, but now we're here and we'll be regular. Let's look into the KDE Plasma latest updates. If you've ever used KDE Plasma, you already know it's one of the most beautiful and customizable desktop environments in the Linux world. But beauty is just part of the story. What really makes Plasma shine is its relentless evolution. And now, with the release of KDE Plasma 6, 4.3, we're seeing yet another thoughtful step forward. You might not notice it right away, there's no flashy new theme or radical UI shift. But dig a little deeper and you'll discover a series of subtle yet powerful changes that continue to push Plasma toward polish and perfection. One of the biggest highlights of this release is the improvement to automatic screen scaling, especially for Wayland users. In the past, using Plasma on high-resolution displays could be a bit of a hit-or-miss experience. You'd either end up with tiny interface elements or blurry applications, and you'd often find yourself diving into system settings to fix scaling manually, but now, that experience is getting a major upgrade. Plasma 6 4.3 introduces a smarter scale calculator that does a much better job of detecting your screen's DPI and adjusting everything to look crisp and clean right out of the box. Whether you're plugging into a 4K monitor or just running a high-res laptop, Plasma will now make sure your interface looks exactly as it should without you lifting a finger, but that's just one part of the picture. This update brings a collection of carefully crafted bug fixes and refinements that add up to a noticeably smoother experience. For example, developers fixed an issue with panel shadows during blur transitions, which was previously causing visual glitches when moving between blurred backgrounds and transparent panels. That little distraction is now gone, making transitions feel more fluid and intentional. There's also a fix for a quirky bug where color scheme previews weren't appearing correctly in system settings, an annoying detail that's now cleaned up. Plus, if you rely on keyboard navigation, you'll be pleased to know that the logout screen is now more responsive to keyboard inputs, making it more accessible and consistent. What's particularly impressive about Plasma 6 4.3 is how much of its work is happening behind the scenes. As the Linux world continues to move toward Wayland as the future display server, KDE developers are laser-focused on improving Wayland support, and it shows. In this release, Wayland sessions feel just a little more stable, a little more refined, and a little less experimental. Things like multi-monitor setups, scaling, and graphical performance are gradually becoming more dependable, making Wayland feel less like a test environment and more like a serious daily driver. If you're already using a rolling release distro like KDE Neon, Arch, or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, you'll likely get the update automatically in your next round of system updates. Just make sure to restart your session after updating to get the full benefit of the changes. For those using more traditional distributions, the update will roll out as soon as your distro's maintainers package it. Either way, it's worth the wait. In the end, KDE Plasma 6 4.3 might not come with fireworks or headline-grabbing features, but it's exactly the kind of release that keeps Plasma feeling fast, modern, and thoughtfully maintained. It shows the KDE team's commitment to quality, where every fix, no matter how small, contributes to a bigger picture of usability and elegance. So, if you're a Plasma user, consider this update your quiet invitation to experience an even smoother desktop journey. And if you've been thinking about switching to KDE, there's really never been a better time to jump in. Please subscribe to NixGuard and hit like on this video. Thank you for watching. Stay updated with NixGuard.